Ezekiel 16 to 18. Again the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know her abominations and say, This is what Adonai Yahweh says to Jerusalem. Your origin and your birth is of the land of the Canaanite. An Amorite was your father, and your mother was a Hittite. As for your birth in the day you were born, your navel was not cut, nor were you washed in water to cleanse you. You were not rubbed with salt or even wrapped in blankets. No eye pitied you to do any of these things to you, to have compassion on you. But you were cast out in the open field, because you were abhorred in the day that you were born. When I passed by you and saw you wallowing in your own blood, I said to you, Though you are in your blood, live. Yes, I said to you, Though you are in your blood, live. I caused you to multiply in that which grows in the field, and you increased and grew great, and you became very beautiful. Your breasts formed, and your hair grew, yet you were naked and bare. When I passed by you and looked at you, behold, your time was a time of love, and I spread your skirt over you and covered your nakedness. Yes, I swore to you, and I entered into a covenant with you, says Adonai Yahweh, and you became mine. Then I washed you with water. I thoroughly washed away your blood from you, and I anointed you with oil, and I clothed you with the embroidered work and put sealskin sandals on you. I dressed you with fine linen and covered you with silk. I decked you with ornaments, put bracelets on your hands, and I put a chain on your neck. I put a ring in your nose and earrings in your ears and a beautiful crown on your head. Thus you were decked with gold and silver. Your clothing was of fine linen, silk, and embroidered work. You ate fine flour, honey, and oil. You were exceedingly beautiful, and you prospered to royal estate. Your renown went out among the nations for your beauty, for it was perfect. Through my majesty, which I put on you, says Adonai Yahweh. But you trusted in your beauty and played the prostitute because of your renown, and poured out your prostitution on everyone who passed by. His it was. You took some of your garments and made for yourself high places, decks with various colors, and played the prostitute on them. This shall not happen, neither shall it be. You also took your beautiful jewels of my gold and my silver, which I had given you, and made for yourself images of men and played the prostitute with them. And you took your embroidered garments and covered them and set my oil and my incense before them. Also my bread also which, you gave, which I gave you, fine flour, oil, honey, which I fed you, and even set it before them for a pleasant aroma, and so it was, says Adonai Yahweh. Moreover, you have taken your sons and your daughters, whom you have borne to me, and you sacrificed these to them to be devoured. Was your prostitution a small matter, that you have slain my children and delivered them up, and causing them to pass through the fire to them? And in all your abominations and your prostitution, you have not remembered the days of your youth, when you were naked and bare, and were wallowing in your blood. It has happened after all your wickedness, woe, woe to you, says Adonai Yahweh, that you have built for yourselves a vaulted place, and have made for yourselves a lofty place in every street. You have built your lofty places in the head of every way, and have made your beauty an abomination, and have opened your feet to everyone who passed by and multiplied your prostitution, you have also committed sexual immorality with the Egyptians, your neighbors, great of flesh, and have multiplied your prostitution to provoke me to anger. Behold, therefore I have stretched out my hand over you, and have diminished your portion, and delivered you to the will of those who hated you, the daughters of the Philistines, who are ashamed of your lewd way. You have, planned the pro you have played the prostitute with the Assyrians, because you were insatiable yes you have played the prostitute with them and yet you were not satisfied you multiplied your prostitution to the land of the merchants to cast them and yet you were not satisfied with this how languishing is your heart says adonai yahweh because you do all these things the work 
of an impudent prostitute, in that you built your shrine at the head of every road, and made and make your high and make your high place in every street, and have not been as a prostitute, in that you scorn pay, a wife who commits adultery, who takes strangers instead of her husband. Men give gifts to all prostitutes, but you give your gifts to all your lovers and bribe them, that they may come to you on every side of, for your prostitution. You are different from other women in your prostitution, and that no one follows you to play the prostitute, and whereas you give higher, and no higher is given to you, therefore you are different. Therefore, prostitute, hear the word of Yahweh. This is what Adonai Yahweh says. Because your filthiness was poured out and your nakedness uncovered through your prostitution with your lovers, and because of all the idols of your abominations and for the blood of your children that you gave to them, therefore see, I will gather all your lovers with whom you have taken pleasure and all those who, who you have loved with all those who you have hated. I will even gather them against you on every side and will utterly and uncover your nakedness to them that they may see all your nakedness. I will judge you as women who break wedlock and shed blood are judged, and I will bring on you the blood of wrath and jealousy. I will give you into their hand, and they will throw down your shrines and break down your high places. They will strip you of your clothes and take your beautiful jewels, and they will leave you naked and bare. They will also bring up a company against you, and they will stone you with stones and thrust you through with their swords. They will burn your houses with fire and execute judgments on you in the sight of many women. I will cause you to cease from the playing of the prostitute, and you shall no longer pay your lovers. So I will cause my wrath toward you to rest, and my jealousy will depart from you, and I will be quiet and will no longer be angry, because you have not remembered the days of your youth, but you have raged against me in all these things. Therefore, behold, I also will bring your way on your head, says Adonai Yahweh, and you shall not commit this lewdness with your abominations. Behold, everyone who uses Proverbs will use this proverb against you, saying, As is the mother, so is her daughter. You are the daughter of your mother, who loathes her husband and her children, and you are the sister of your sisters, who loathe their husband and their children. Your mother was a Hittite, and your father an Amorite. Your elder sister, a Sumerian, who dwells at the left hand, she and her daughters, and your younger sister who dwells at your right hand, is Sodom with her daughters. Yet you have not walked in their ways, nor done their abominations, but soon you'll, you are more corrupt than they in all your ways. As I live, says Adonai Yahweh, Sodom, your sister has not done. She nor her daughters, as you have done, you and your daughters. Behold, this was the iniquity of your sister Sodom, pride fullness of bread, prosperous ease was in her and in her daughters. She also did not strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. They were arrogant and committed abomination before me. Therefore I took them away when I saw it. Samaria has not committed half of your sins, but you have multiplied your abominations more than they, and have justified your sisters by all your abominations which you have done. You also bear your own shame yourself, in that you give judgment to your sisters, though your sins that you have committed are more abominable than they. They are more righteous than you. Yes, be also confounded and bear your shame in that you have justified your sisters. I will reverse their captivity, the captivity of Sodom and your daughters and her daughters, and the captivity of Samaria and her daughters, and the captivity of your captives among them that you may bear your own shame and may be ashamed because of all that you have done, in that you are, com in that you are a comfort to them. Your sisters, Sodom and her daughters, will return to their former estate, and Samaria and her daughters will return to their former estate, and you and your daughters will return to your former estate. For your sister, Sodom, was not mentioned by your mouth in the day of your pride, before your wickedness was uncovered, as at the time of the reproach of the daughters of Syria and of all who are around, the daughters of the Philistines who despise you all around, you have borne the lewdness and abomination, says Yahweh. This is what Adonai Yahweh says. I will also deal with you as I have done. 
who have despised the oath of breaking the covenant. Nevertheless, I will remember my covenant with you in the days of your youth and establish you to an everlasting covenant. This you will remember in your ways and be ashamed. When you receive your sisters, your elder sister and your younger, I will give them to you for daughters, but not by your covenant. I will establish my covenant with you. Then you will know that I am Yahweh, and you will remember and be confounded and never open your mouth anymore because of your shame. When I have forgiven you all that you have done, says Adonai Yahweh. The word of Yahweh came to me saying, Son of man, tell us a riddle and speak a parable to the house of Israel and say, This is what Adonai Yahweh says, a great eagle with great wings and long feathers, full of feathers, which had various color, came to Lebanon and took the top of the cedar. He cropped off the topmost of its young twigs and carried it to the land of traffic. He planted it in the city of merchants. He also took some of the seed of the land and planted it in the fruitful soil. He placed it beside many waters. He set it in the willow, as a willow tree, and it grew and became a spreading vine and a lo, of low stature, whose branches turned toward him and its roots under, under him. So it became a vine, produced branches, and shot out spring, sprigs. But there also was another great eagle with great wings of many feathers. And behold, this vine bent its root towards him, and shoot out its branches towards him from the beads of its plantation, that he might water it. It, might, it was planted in a good soil by many waters, that it might produce branches, and that it might bear fruit, and it might be a good vine. Say, this is what Adonai Yahweh says. Will it prosper? Will he not pull up its roots and cut off its fruits, that it may wither? that all its flesh springing leaves may wither? It cannot be raised from its roots by a strong arm or many people. Yes, behold, being planted, will it prosper? Will it not utterly wither when the east wind touches it? It will wither in the beads where it grew. And the word of Yahweh came to me saying, This now to the rebellious house, do you not know what these things mean? Tell them, Behold, the king of Babylon came to Jerusalem, and took its king and its princes, and brought them to Babylon. And he took some of the royal offspring, and made a covenant with them. He also brought him under the oath, and took away the mighty of the land, that the kingdom might be brought low, that it might not lift itself up, but that by keeping his covenant it might stand. But he rebelled against him in sending his ambassadors into Egypt, that they might give him horses and many people. Will he prosper? Will he who does such things escape? Will he break the covenant and still escape? As I live, says Adonai Yahweh, surely in the place where the king dwells, who made him king, whose oath he despised, and whose covenant he broke, even with him in the middle of Babylon he will die. Pharaoh, with his mighty army and his great company, will not help him in the war. When they cast up mounds and built forts to cut off many persons, for he has despised the oath by breaking the covenant. And behold, he had given his, land, his hand, and yet he has done all these things. He will not escape. Therefore, this is what Adonai Yahweh says. As I live, I will surely bring on his own head, my oath, that he has despised, and my covenant that he has broken. I will spread my net on him, and he will be taken in my snare. I will bring him to Babylon, and he will enter into judgment with him. There, therefore his trespass that he has trespassed against me. All his refugees in all his bands will fall by the sword, and those who remain will be scattered toward every wind. Then you will know that I, Yahweh, have spoken it. This is what Adonai Yahweh says. I will also take some of the lofty top, some of the lofty top of the cedar, and I will plant it. I will crop 
I will crop off from the topmost of its young twigs a tender one, and I will plant it on a high and lofty mountain. I will plant it in the mountain of the height of Israel, and it will be produced balls, and bear fruit, and be a good cedar. Birds of every kind will dwell in the shade of its branches. All the trees of the field will know that I, Yahweh, have brought down the high tree, exalted the low tree, have dried up the green tree, and have made the dry tree flourish. I, Yahweh, have spoken and have done it. Then the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, What do you mean that you use this proverb concerning Eretz Israel, saying, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. As I live, says Adonai Yahweh, you will no longer use this proverb in Israel. Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the father, so also the soul of the son is mine. The soul who sins, he shall die. But if a man is just and does what is lawful and right, if he does not eat of the mountain of shrines or lift up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, does not defile his neighbor's wife or come near a woman in her impurity, does not oppress anyone but restores to the debtor his pledge, does not commit robbery, he gives bread to the hungry, and covers the naked with a garment, does not lend an interest or take increase, withholds his hand from iniquity, executes true justice between man and man. If he walks in my statutes and keeps my ordinances by dealing truly, he is just, he will surely live, says Adonai Yahweh. If the fathers If he fathers a son who is a robber, who sheds blood, and who does any one of these things, or who does not do any of those things, but even has eaten at the mountain of shrines, or defiled his neighbor's wife, he has wronged the poor and needy, has taken by robbery, has not restored the pledge, and has lifted up his eyes to idols, has committed abomination, has lent with interest, has taken increase from the poor, shall he then live? He shall not live. He has done all these abominations. He shall surely die. His blood will be on him. Now, before, now behold, if he fathers a son who sees all his father's sins, which he has done, and fears, and does not such like, he does not eat at the mountain of shrines, or lift up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, does not defy the neighbor's wife, does not oppress anyone or require a pledge, does not commit robbery, gives bread to the hungry, and covers the naked with a garment. He withholds his hand from the poor, and takes no interest or increase, but executes my ordinances and walks in my statutes. He will not die for the iniquity of his father. He will surely live. As for the father, because he cruelly oppressed Robert, robbed his brother, and did that which was not good among the people, behold, he will die in his iniquity. Yet you say, Why does the son not bear the iniquity of the father when the son has done that which is lawful and right and has kept all my statutes and has done them? He will surely live. The soul who sins, he shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteousness shall be on him and the wickedness of the wicked shall be on him. But if the wicked return, if the wicked turns from all his sins that he has committed and keeps all my statutes and does that which is rightful, lawful and right, he shall surely live. He shall not die. None of his transgressions that he has committed will be remembered against him. In his righteousness that he has done, he shall live. Have I any pleasure in the death of the wicked, says Adonai, Yahweh, and not rather that he should return from his way and live? But when the righteous turns away from his righteousness and commits iniquity and does according to all the abominations that the wicked man does, should he live? None of his righteous deeds that he has done will be remembered. In his trespass that he has trespassed and in his sin he has committed, in them he shall die. Yet you say... The way of Adonai is not just. Hear now, house of Israel, is my way not equal? Are your ways unequal? 
when the righteous man turns away from his righteousness and commits iniquity and dies therein in his iniquity that he has done, he shall die. Again, when the wicked man turns away from his wickedness and he has commit, that he has committed and does that which is lawful and right, he will save his soul alive because he considers and turns away from his transgressions that he has committed, he shall surely live. He shall not die. Yet the house of Israel says the way of Adonai is not just. O house of Israel, are my ways not just? Is, is it not your ways that are unjust? Therefore I will judge you, house of Israel, anyone according to his ways, says Adonai Yahweh. Return and turn yourselves from all your transgressions so that iniquity will not be in your ruin. Cast away from all your transgression in which you have transgressed and make yourself a new heart and a new spirit. For why will you die, house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in death of him who dies, says Adonai Yahweh. Therefore, turn yourselves and live.